guys and welcome back to my channel for like the 50 millionth time. Um, my name is Kristen if you are new here and I make videos on literally just about anything. I make food videos, I make vlogs, I make sit down, makeup, get ready with me, story times, like everything that you can think of that YouTube has I put on this channel but I'm very um like what is it called but I sometimes like to take like three month breaks in between uploading but besides that I am back now and we um are here to try UK candy so basically candy from the United Kingdom I have been wanting to do this video for literally so long like years and I'm so excited about it so let's go ahead and get right into it so these are what they came in it's like this little lunchbox looking thing also I am wearing Danielle Carolyn's merch from last year I don't know if she's still selling these or not but um, I decided to be very festive in this video plus I feel like I'm matching this right here so you know the, the British flag if you will okay so I've got two of these though so I'm very excited about this. If you cannot tell, I have been wanting to try some of these for so long. I watch so many videos of people trying candies from around the world. And I've actually done one of these, or actually twice. Um, I'll link those down below if you like these type of videos and want to binge watch all of mine that I have so far filmed. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know down below. And I guess um, I'll just grab out. There's actually, so I've... Actually, I kind of knew what was coming in them because I ordered them from Amazon and I kind of like picked and choose out of which ones I wanted because I knew the things that I wanted to try. This is a crunchy and there is a candy that I've seen so many people trying on their videos. I feel like I have a hair in front of my face. Um, called a Violet Crumble and it's a Australian candy bar. Basically, this is the UK version of it. So it's basically the same exact thing, just a different name. And this one I've been wanting to try for so long that I am going to wait and uh, try this later on in the video. So just a little bit of a backstory on that one. We're going to try this one. This one is one I really, really, really wanted to try. And I'm so excited about it. It's called a flake. And it's basically um, what I think it's supposed to kind of be like. It's supposed to be very, it says the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate. But what I think it's supposed to resemble is if you've ever had a, um, a chocolate orange, the center, how it's got like the little lines from the... Uh, like pieces, the slices of the orange, of the chocolate orange, and then you eat that piece. That's what I'm thinking that this is going to taste like, but more flakier than the like hard milk chocolate that you get in the milk, in the, um, what's it called? Yeah, in the center of it. It kind of basically looks, I think it's supposed to resemble like a twig. So this is kind of like what it looks like, and I'm just going to try it. Oh my gosh. Wow. This candy is so good. Like the chocolate is so creamy and it just like melts in your mouth like cotton candy. It is so good. I really, really like this. I wish we had these in America because I totally would eat one of these all the time. Now I see why Zoe Sugg says these are some of her favorite candies because they are very, very good. The next one is this one. This is one, another one that I've been really wanting to try. These are arrows, and they look like this, and they're basically like lightweight chocolate, like very airy chocolate. And actually, this one is the regular chocolate one, and then this one is the peppermint one. Peppermint one. So I'm gonna try one, try each of them just to see the difference in them. But I'm sure they're basically gonna taste looks like little bubbles. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I think I like this chocolate a little bit better than this one. Well, this one's Cadbury. So I do like Cadbury chocolate. And then this is Nestle Tea chocolate. Well, I'm sure that this is like the exact same chocolate that they put in like the Nestle Tea hot chocolates. Like that's kind of what it tastes like. 
but it's just very like it's so weird it's like you're eating a bubble it's so strange i do not know how to explain it but it's so crazy but also i'm a huge fan i know um there's a youtuber named aaron robinson if you know who i'm talking about that doesn't like mint and chocolate together but i am a fan of mint and chocolate so I am going to be very excited about this one. If I really like the regular, just chalk, plain chocolate one of these, definitely gonna like this one. Oh my gosh, it's green inside. I think I like this one way better. It tastes like a Thin Mint. If, a, if they made a peppermint cotton candy, that's what this tastes like. I don't know what it, it's so weird how it just like, it, how the airiness of it. I don't know how to explain it. It's so weird. Oh my gosh, but it's so good. I think this is probably one of my favorites. So the next one is one that I'm really excited to try. Um, so these are called Smarties. And if you are living in America, you know that Smarties to us are like a chalky little circle thing. But to them, I think they're like our M&Ms, but they call them Smarties, if that makes sense. So that's what this is. And you can get them this little package. I'm very excited to try these. I've been wanting to try these for a really long time. I hear Zoe talking about these all the time and like Louise and just everybody that I watch on um, YouTube that is from the UK always talk about these. So these taste like M&Ms, but you know what they actually taste like? The little six sixlets that you get in like the tube of plastic that's like the little bitty colorful like m m looking ball things you know what i'm talking about they're like in those plastic like it's like in a long tube kind of thing but they're like plastic that's what um these taste like but like a bigger version of them so i really like those those are really good okay this is another one that i'm really excited about to try i've been wanting to try one of these for so long this is turkish delight i have heard some things about this like that some people like it some people don't um one, uh, I do know that uh, the mom on, uh, not mom, what's it, Ballinger family, if you watch them, Jessica on there, the mom of the family, she's obsessed with Turkish Delight, and that's where I got the idea to wanting to try it, and when I saw that this was in this box, I was like, heck yeah, I have to try this. So, I'm going to try this one, and then we're going to, we're going to try this, because I actually think I got two of these. Um, and these are the last two things in the first box, and then we'll go to the second box. So, I'm really nervous about this. I hope that I really like this. I'm going to be so sad if I hate this, and I've built this up to be, like, an amazing thing, and then I don't like it. It kind of feels like a brownie. So, I'm hoping that I like this. I'm so scared. Oh, my gosh, y'all. It looks like it has, like, jelly in it, and I'm a very weird picky eater with jelly. Like, I don't know if I like jelly or not. I don't even like jelly-filled donuts. I like jelly on, like, a biscuit, but I don't like, and it has to be, like, grape jelly. But I do not, but rarely do I ever eat grape jelly. This is really going on a long, like, tangent. But, y'all, I'm kind of nervous now that I see that there's, like, a little speck of something in there. And it's really freaking me out. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, mm-mm. Uh, ew, why do you like that? Oh my gosh. That is so awful. Y'all, it is so gross. Oh my gosh, that is so gross. Y'all, it is like grape jelly, but like I don't really like jello. Like I do not like jello. I do not like any of that. I like gummy bears and like gummy worms and that kind of thing, but like jello or like jelly, I don't know. And it's it's like chocolate covered jelly. It's so gross. <laughs> I do not like this. No, 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 no. She she has got to go. We don't like her. No, y'all. I'm gonna zoom in on this. Like look at this grossness i'm sorry if you actually like this stuff but this stuff is disgusting to me <laughs> i do not like it so that she's going bye bye we do not like her she is canceled okay we're gonna make it better by trying the one that i've been wanting to try um so this is basically chocolate covered um honeycomb so honeycomb is the bomb 
So I'm very excited about trying this. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been waiting so long. Oh my gosh, why does it look so glittery? Like, she's glittery. She's really pretty. Okay. Like, look at that. I don't know if you could pick up the glitteriness, but she's glittery. Okay, we're going to try it out. No. No, it's not for you. Okay, here we go. The moment I've been waiting for, for I don't know how many years. Oh. My gosh. Wow. Y'all, I'm glad I saved this for last. Y'all, this tastes so good. If you like honeycomb, you need to try this out. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I want to take a second bite, but I have so many more left to go. This, you know what this tastes like? This tastes like an airier, like if they made a Butterfinger, but like this, like the air style, this is what this tastes like. It tastes like a Butterfinger. But not so like, I guess it would be dense maybe. I don't know. This is basically more of like a lightweight, airy Butterfinger. Oh my gosh. Now I see why I wrote. I, okay. This, this is amazing, y'all. Like, why can't we have these in America? Why do I have to like order these offline? Why can't I just drive down five minutes away from my house and buy one of these in the store? I don't understand. Let's do this one that's called Fudge, which... I like fudge, so hopefully I like this one. Okay. Ooh. I really like this one. It doesn't taste like fudge necessarily, but you know what it does taste like? Are those cow tails. If you've ever had one of those, but less like chewy. Like it's super easy to like chew I guess if that makes sense like those are more chewy to me but they do it kind of tastes similar to that but it almost kind of tastes like you know when you bite into a Twix and it's got like a soft layer in it that's um that's like holding together the cookie part and like the caramel part but there's like a soft chewy kind of flake part it's almost like if they just filled this with that part of a twix if that makes sense i don't know how to explain it but it does taste really good it tastes kind of similar to a cow tail but actually way better to me i really like this one i'm definitely gonna finish this one like that one 100 percent love it okay this one is a cadbury double decker um it just says the double filling bar so i'm gonna try this is oh it says a nougat top and crispy bottom and cadbury milk chocolate I'm not a huge fan of nougat. Sometimes I like it. Ugh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Okay. It almost kinda tastes like a s'more. It actually tastes better than what our nougat is, if that makes sense. Like the nougat that you get in like Russell Stover's and stuff. It kind of almost tastes like the same middle that's in the fudge bar, but like like I'm eating, because there's like crunchy bits at the bottom. So it almost tastes like I'm eating a s'more. That's what that tastes like. So, there's that. It's, okay, I saved this be the best one I feel like for last. Um, this one I feel like I'm definitely not going to like. And it's so funny because I've been watching Vlogmas. If you have been watching and keeping up with Vlogmas, let me know who your favorite people are to watch. But um, Zoe and Alfie actually talked about... Uh, their like thoughts on raisins and they were like I don't like raisins or I do like raisins and they were kind of like talking about how it's kind of like certain people have a certain taste for raisins or whatever and they were talking about it in an oatmeal and it's funny because this has raisins in it and I'm not a huge I'll eat raisins if they're like you know if that's like semi if it's in like a mixture of like a trail mix or something but I'm not going to go, oh my gosh, you know what sounds amazing is some raisins and like buy a whole pack of raisins and eat them. No, not going to do that. So this one, I don't know how much I'm going to like it. I feel like I'm not going to like it, but you never know. Let's see what, I feel like this is kind of like a payday, but with raisins and, and it also has peanuts in it too. But I'm very scared of this because I don't know if I'm going to like this. 
Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I can kind of taste the raisin in it. It's okay. It's not my favorite. That is my video for today. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know down below what video you would like to see next. Because I may start putting out videos again. I'm not 100% sure. Um, my computer has just not been the best thing right now. It has not liked me lately. And I don't know why. Because I have nothing on that computer. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!